Hey guys, Brie here from Mishawak Crochet. We are on day 12 Stitchmas. That means it's our last day of the year for Stitchmas. And it has been a rough crochet day for me today. I'm going to end the video on a good note. So I'm going to do our advent calendar at the end. If you're interested in knowing what I got today, you can either fast forward or just stick tight with me while I tell you about my rough crochet day today. I've been working on the Aurora Lace Cardigan. That's a Marley Road pattern. And I have been super excited about this. And then I got like really ambitious about it. And I'm like, I want to finish this by Christmas because I want to wear it on Christmas. Because I'm like, my tree this year is decorated with all white, you know, like clear lights and blue. And I'm like, it's a blue cardigan. Oh, I need that perfect Instagram picture of me in front of the tree wearing it on Christmas morning. So I got really ambitious. So I, I was like rushing through it. Well, I got, last time we talked, I had the back done. Well, now I've got the back, the front, and the arms done. But I need, today I would needed to work on the cuffs and then like the inner like collar part and the bottom. So like all the, like the finishing things, like the main parts done, I have the finishing things. You know, all of the, like I said, the bottom, the, you know, like collar, the, the little bit edging on the sides and the cuffs. I figured I could do it all today. Well, so, I mean, I still have the rest I have today to get it done, but I figured like between over the, you know, like the day before and today, I figured I could get it all done. Well, I was rushing through too much, not paying attention. And I knew that you had to go around the cuff and you had to put in single crochets to get your base started. And then you made a chain and in that chain you crocheted and then you like, um, you, you ended on like the, the single crochets that you used to go around. So <laughs> I misread the directions and I thought they were saying put two stitches in each. And I thought, well, that sounds kind of generous, but I really wasn't paying much attention. So I like did them both real quick. And then I chose to lay my work out after I had the cuffs done and take a look at it, which was a terrible idea because in the end I realized the cuffs were like twice the size they should have been. So instead of being, you know, like even like this, they were like belled out. And I was like, that is not going to fly. And it's not like I could just frog them back a couple rows and then cinch it in and have it be okay. Cause then this part, would not be even, you know, because if I tried to put like cinch it in, then this part would be too small and hot mess. So I had to frog them back. So I have <laughs> this ball of yarn, this ball of yarn that are all the results of my frogging. And then my yarn winder today started like digging into my table. So I had to switch to a different yarn winder, which I've never used before. And it took me a while to figure that out. And there's an extra part that I don't even know what it's for. So it has been a rough, rough crochet day for me. Needless to say, I am very happy with the progress I've made so far though, because I got it, you know, I got the main part crocheted. I got it blocked. You know, those are like a big deal. So I think I'm going to, you know, take a little break, clear my head and then come back to it. That my hands are starting to hurt. Like I just pushing too hard, too fast. And I could be like, I could be probably close to done if I had realized my mistake in the first place. So the takeaway from the story is, you know, every few rows, lay your work out. Don't be in such a rush. Like enjoy the journey, lay your work out, make sure everything is measuring right. Everything's looking right. Slow down a little bit this holiday season if you can. And just do your best. I guess that's the biggest takeaway. You know, pay closer attention and not be in such a rush, you know, because now I've wasted so much energy and time on this sweater. And there was nothing wrong with the pattern. It purely and simple, all me, I made the mistake. So if I get this done in time, I plan on posting a TikTok wearing it, hopefully. If I don't get it done in time, then I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to allow myself some grace and let it go and wear something different. <laughs> I mean, we're not, we're staying home this year. We're not going anywhere. So I mean, I can wear any sweater that makes me happy. So anywho, 
let's get into my advent calendar because I want to end this on a good note and I don't want to take up any more of your time. We have day one, which is our last day of our advent calendar. So it's been a fun little journey. Okay, this is a very big bag. Look how big this bag is. And there is this tiny little card. <laughs> All right, let me, I'm going to pre-read this and then I'll share with you what I can. All right, so this might have been like the littlest looking Advent little gift in the biggest package, but this is a huge winner. Uh, with this little coupon, it's going to allow me to get a brand new set of hooks, which I, if you've been watching, you know, I've been saying I need a new set. I want to start learning Tunisian, so I want a set of Tunisian hooks, and I want to upgrade my hooks I currently have for something that's more ergonomic. Oh, because I want to be able to crochet faster. So it says a set of hooks of, of your choice with all the accessories. So definitely stay tuned for that video because I'm going to cash in on this as soon as I can after Christmas, as soon as I make the final decision, I should say because I've got an idea of what I want, but I'm on the fence on what's going to be the best option. So if you aren't in too much of a rush and you'd like to leave me a comment, I'd like to hear, did you get all your projects done? All of your Christmas projects, all your gifts, did you get them done? Or if you want to leave me a comment with a suggestion for either a set of Tunisian hooks or a set of just regular crochet hooks. I would love all the comments about any of those three questions. Until next time, which I don't know when that's going to be. Stay tuned. I'll probably announce that on Instagram or TikTok. So stay tuned. There is a lot more to come. I'm probably going to take a little time off, though, until after the first. So I'll see you next year. Until then, take care.